Hey everyone, I'm back. It is a muggy, hot as heck day here in Buena Park, California. I'm here at Knott's Berry Farm. I really hope all these cars I see here are people going to Soak City and not Knott's because I want to get some rides in today. And also see what's going on with not Scary Farm construction. But man, this weather's crazy. It's really humid and it's muggy and hot. It's like we've uh, gotten Orlando's weather Today I feel like we had a nasty trade-off from Orlando. We get some of their cool rides, but we also inherit their really awful weather. No. That is one thing I do not ever want to see in the parking lot of a theme park. That spells all sorts of wine cutting and crowds. Hey look at the rooster. Here's something you don't see every day. Say boy, I say, you better come here. Do you know what's even more fried than their chicken? My brain. I need some water. It's really hot. <sighs> All is right with the world. No! Well, I just got off a Ghost Rider, and I got some interesting, um, uh, interesting views of the mazes they're building backstage. Now they announced that they're gonna switch out Trick or Treat for uh, Trick or Treat Lights Out. And this looks like it'll be an entirely different maze. Like, they just um, put up a brand new facade. I noticed there's like a hallway that's stretching outside the building that goes all the way back down to where you enter. So that should be pretty cool. And also I noticed the facades for Voodoo, Tooth Fairy, and Paranormal Inc. are still up there. So I take it those three are staying. All right, so here's the boardwalk. They're working on the big 2018 project, which is most likely gonna be a roller coaster. Rumors have circulated from an RMC Raptor to a Eurofighter to a Gerstlauer Infinity Coaster. And I personally think it'll be Gerstlauer Infinity. But whatever it is, they're going to announce it August 16th. I believe that's the day, August 16th. So I'm looking forward to whenever they have this um, uh, ride open. It should be really cool. I'm still waiting on when they're ever going to open this, um, this tower. Wage increase meets a new replacement. I'm gonna scare somebody in line for Jaguar. I'm sorry, I can't hear anything. I lost my hearing. Well, because it's a short line and I hate my life, I decided I'm gonna head up Iron Reef. You know, I've got to admit, going on Iron Reef after going on Justice League is like having the regular can code after you had the good Mexican code. It's just not as good. You know, for a haunt construction update, there's really not much to um, show. All the good stuff is backstage. Gunslinger, well, the Gunslinger location hasn't even started yet. Um, Infected's the same as last year. They're building that. Warehouses are going up, like I said, in Ghost Rider. Yeah, there's not much to really talk about. That's pretty much it in terms of haunt updates. Yeah, the lines are pretty... Eh, some of them aren't terrible, but... They're to the point where there's not a lot of options for me to uh, go to. Well, it's summer, all the kids are out of school, all the lines are long. Don't really have a whole lot of options right now and things to do. Well, oh, there you go. Hey, Why is the Sky Tower still closed? Well, uh, Why is Justice League better than Iron Reef? Now yeah, look, young lady. Why are you still single? Well, yeah, you're just hitting a little too close to. Is it because of your crippling depression? <laughs> Yeah, it's really a bummer accelerators down because I would have loved to have gone on my uh, second favorite ride. Apparently they're, they're yeah, they're, uh, can't talk. Apparently they're doing some maintenance on it, so hopefully they'll get that back up and running very, very soon. Hey, this looks really fancy. I wonder what's in here. Not a new ride? Well then, who cares? In all seriousness, this does look very nice. Um, I don't, I'm not really interested in checking out the food right now, but I like how this looks. It fits in with the 1950s aesthetic very well. It's very nice. It's a good use of space. Uh, yeah. I am blue. Just look at the beautiful sunset. 
one of the reasons why I love not so much is that they put a lot of effort into their uh, scenery. Especially at night, this looks amazing. Like, I love all the trees, the foliage, and how everything is done. It's just, it's, it's beautiful. I love it. I would say Knott's is definitely one of my favorite theme parks to experience at night. Just because, like, the ghost town at Camp Snoopy, like, everything there just comes alive at night. It looks really beautiful. Not to mention, this place looks amazing under the sunset. Look at that. I think a really profound question to ask is, how the heck did Charlie Brown catch anything from that distance? It's not a very long pole, is it? it doesn't look like it. Now, I don't know if this has been here the whole time, but could that be something for Haunt? New maze, new experience of some sort? Who knows? You know, I really feel bad for this hoedown group. Like, nobody wants to see them. They're good, but it's like, come on, people need to give them a chance. I mean, this looks about as deserted as a Nickelback concert. But like I was saying earlier, Knott's is one of my favorite theme parks to experience at night, simply for the gorgeous, gorgeous lighting. And the nice ambiance. I was looking for a job and then I found the job And heaven knows I'm miserable now This ride is really bumpy I feel like I'm done for the evening riding rides. Now I'm just gonna leisurely stroll through Ghost Town and just see how it looks at night. Man, this place really comes alive at night. But I'm looking forward to when the lighting becomes very dead for Not Scary Farm. And that's not very far around the corner. We just have less than two months left until Not Scary Farm. And I'm pretty excited about that. It felt like this year has come up really fast. <laughs> Felt like just yesterday that Haunt uh, ended. But a little fun fact, Haunt season never ends in this store right here. Shh! Don't tell anybody. It's our secret. Why don't we get the feel feeling that uh, Knox is trying to cash in on Universal a little bit? And Disneyland. There's still some leftover Not Scary Farm merchandise. Now, that is a deal. Four for $10. It's so fluffy. I have to say, I think that shirt looks pretty cool. They have some nice Walking Dead shirts here. It's just too bad these shirts are more interesting than uh, Season 7. Jeez, Knott's is being shameless here. Selling Harry Potter merchandise inside of the store. I love how they have an old schoolhouse here. Under this uh, moonlit night. It's pretty cool that uh, they have a piece of uh, old Western history here. School has always been a wonderful place where kids can learn basic facts, like the fact that there are only two genders. I know that it is ridiculously dark right now, but I've got to conclude the vlog. It is now time for me to depart and tend to my own business. Thanks for watching this vlog today. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry there wasn't a whole lot of Not Scary Farm action going around, but um, it's a little bit early in the run for Not Scary Farm. Anyway, thanks for watching. Tune in for more videos, and see you in the fog. Wah! <laughs>